Multiply the numbers exponentially and you multiply your chances. Let's discuss an important technique for maximizing your chances of achieving important goals. We often debate whether you should work hard or smart. This one is both. These insights are brought to you by the lime green pickle of performance. <laughs> was, he, was he out of shot? Oh, he's green! <laughs> <laughs> These insights were brought to you by the brush of polka dot pink performance. Pick a goal, any goal. Let's talk about ways in which you can numerically increase your chances of succeeding. I'd like to walk you through something that I'm doing right at the moment. Earlier this year, I achieved one of my lifetime goals, which was the publication of my debut novel. That came out in January. It took about a year and a half to get there, and in that time, I asked myself what strategically would be the wisest move, the smartest thing that I can do right now. And the answer that I came up with at part one was write the next ones so that the ball is not waiting in my court. Knock the ball back and do what you can with what you have. So I then added novel number two, number three, and number four. Number two is working its way through the editing process right now. That was the first thing that I did to increase the numerical chances of a little success and a little momentum. Then what I did was I asked Penguin, what else can I do to ensure success within the publishing industry? And I asked whether we could play with things like timelines. Could we move a little faster? What else could I add to the process? And they gave me some interesting feedback. They said, well, look, we only publish in a certain territory. So if you're interested in doing so, you can approach agents in other territories. That then became the goal for me. And here's how I went about it. I decided to target agents in London and New York. What I've done is I found myself some 10 agents to send the first manuscript to. And if you're thinking ahead of me, you can start to see where we're going. This becomes a roll-on effect. So you send a manuscript to one of each of 10 agencies in the UK. You send the same manuscript to one of each of 10 agencies in New York. Ethically, you're permitted to do so. If one of them expresses interest, you then write to the others and politely explain this. What you then do is you start to collect the rejection slips. And that is simply a part both of the publishing world and of what it's like to accomplish goals in general. As the rejection slips come in, you then tick that agency off the list and you send the next manuscript to the same agency. So if you're keeping track of the maths there, that's 10 submissions to one agency and then 10 submissions of the next manuscript to the same agency. We're up to 20 instances. Then in the other country, New York, it's 10 and 10. You have 40 chances of a yes. Now I discovered something else that was interesting. When you read the submission guidelines within an agency, they specify that you can send to multiple agents within the house. All that they ask for is that you only query one agent at a time. Now consider this, if each of those agencies has four different agents working for the house, then what you have done is you have once again multiplied your chances fourfold. When you put that maths together, you're looking at over a hundred opportunities to get a yes. And it's only one yes that makes that difference on a global scale. Now, let's bring this back to your world. What is it that you're trying to achieve right now? And where do the manipulable numbers lie? Are there things that you can do multiple times over? Take a strange example. Say you're trying to break into the world of comedy. You perhaps know that you have to go and get on stage at multiple comedy venues. Well, that becomes a manipulable number. You can do it often. What if you went radical overkill on those numbers? How many numbers could you put into the mix in order to ensure that your important goal happens? Multiply the numbers exponentially and you multiply your chances. Now, this is not just a blind spray and pray approach, because what's also happening is with each instance of submission, each instance of practice, each instance of attempting to reach your goal, you receive feedback from the gatekeepers. And every time that happens, you become slightly more intelligent about the entire process. The greater the intelligence which you apply and the greater the numerical totality, the greater your chances. How important is your goal to you? Which numbers could you radically increase? Brought to you by the Lime Green Pickle of Performance.